So today, we are once again blessed to be present by philanthropy. The Jane's Garden is a gift of love and memories that should be recognized by all of us as family. Please join me in welcoming Roy Hunt, for whom we wouldn't be here, and the many of our residents who, who couldn't continue to uh, couldn't continue to enjoy this garden if it was not for his vision and gift, the James Garden. Roy. In order that uh, I not speak all afternoon, I've written out my brief remarks. Unfortunately, I'm also blind and I can hardly see my writing. But uh, just to talk a little bit about why the two Janes, and I think uh, Don McGarrity has already stolen my thunder with his invocation. But uh, <clears throat> as some of you, maybe many of you know, my mother, Jane Smith, and my sister, Jane McGlynn, uh, in their later years, in the Oak Elm Health Pavilion. My mother, the third person to move into the Health Pavilion upon the opening of Oak Elm, lived just behind me across the hall for the last seven years. Uh, in, the, in the 1940s and 50s, she was nationally prominent in the floral industry and never lost her love for gardens and flowers. My sister almost always lunched with our mother in the assisted living dining room, and they often uh, sat together in this space afterwards. When I learned of plans to enhance this space, I offered the funds to, for the project in memory of the two James. I, uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity to remember my mother and sister in this way, and likely I too will enjoy this garden in years to come. Thank you. We also want to present this beautiful plaque, the Jane's Garden in memory of Jane Smith and Jane McGlynn. So this will be prominently posted out here before they walk into the garden. We are honored uh, and, and forever grateful for your kind gift to this community. Thank you so much. One. Okay, here we go. Yeah.